Hi folks, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Today I want to take a look at a paper that examines the effect of gamification on software developers. Now we see that pretty much everywhere we turn on the web, there are some elements of gamified metrics, whether it's points or badges or leaderboard. This kind of gamification increases engagement with these websites, but at the same time, they are also an important signal for things like competence or reputation, especially in decentralized communities like the open source community. Two big examples of this are Stack Overflow, where people have reputation points, and you can use that as a signal to judge the quality of their answers. But also on GitHub where you can see a number of metrics about what projects a developer is contributing to and how frequently they're contributing. Almost every developer is very familiar with this dashboard that shows up on someone's GitHub profile. It shows this contribution calendar which shows you how often someone has been committing changes and which days they commit changes on and so on. Now, what happened was that in May 2016, GitHub decided to drop these two counters that show you what your longest streak of contribution was. In other words, how many days did you contribute without skipping a day and how long your current streak is. This presented an opportunity for a large-scale real-world experiment to see the impact of these two gamification metrics on the behavior of software developers on GitHub. And in this case, we see a pretty drastic effect after removing these two counters. In this graph, we see the share of developers having streaks of various lengths as a function of time. So this blue line over here shows what fraction of developers have had a streak of 20 days. The green line is showing fractions of developers that have had streaks of 60 days and so on. This red line here shows you when this change went in, when these two streak counters were dropped from GitHub. And you can see a pretty drastic drop, especially in streaks of 20 days, but also in streaks of 60 days, you, you can see that the average is much lower after the change. One interesting statistic that the authors found was when looking at the same graph broken down by country, there was an interesting difference between the trend for China, which is this red line, and Western countries like the USA, UK, and Germany. They found that the streak lengths dropped significantly for all the Western countries, but did not drop much for China. They're not sure exactly why this difference occurs, but they are hypothesizing that this might be due to Chinese developers having more demanding work hours. Another way to frame the same data is to look at the share of streaks that survived at least X days. In this graph on the X axis, you have the number of days and on the Y axis, you have the share of streaks that survived those many days. And you can see very clearly in these red lines, which indicate the streak survival rate after the change. These red lines are much lower than the blue lines, which show the streak survival rates from before this design change. So this is another way to analyze the same data to show that yes, removal of these two streak counters did have a big impact on the behavior of developers. Long streaks became less common after this change. So what are we to make of this finding? The author suggests that first of all, we should think very hard before implementing gamification because as we see in this case, it can have a large impact on people's behavior. But different people respond to gamified signals in very different ways. Some people can react in positive ways. They can use it to set goals and to get motivated. But it's also very possible that people focus on the numbers themselves rather than the actual content or quality of their contribution. We also see that sometimes these signals encourage people to contribute so frequently that it leads to burnout. 
So that was a quick look at a paper that takes a look at a large scale real world experiment to see the impact of gamified signals on software developers and it found that indeed it did have a large impact on the behavior and the patterns and frequencies of their contributions. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thank you very much.